Have you ever wanted to use a mask to combine videos and make a cool effect in PowerDirector? Most editors avoid using the feature because they just can't come up with a creative way to use it. So I'm going to share my creativity and show you how to use video masking in PowerDirector 365. I have two clips of skylines in the media library. I'm going to start off by positioning each clip. So we're going to go to the first clip that we want to use. We're going to hold on our left mouse button and we're going to drag it down to track two. We're going to press the F2 key on our keyboard. And that's going to open up the advanced overlay editing tool. We're going to place our cursor over the video until we see crosshairs. We're going to hold on our left mouse button. and We're going to drag it to where we want it. And I already know exactly where I want it. So I'm just going to type in the parameters here and hit enter. Now that the video is where I want it to be, I'm going to click on OK. Next, we're going to go to the other video that we want to use. We're going to hold on our left mouse button. And we're going to drag it down to track one, which is underneath the first video clip. So you can barely see that video on the top sign. And we're doing it this way because we're going to invert things in a minute. You'll get what I'm talking about in a few seconds. I'm going to go ahead and press F2 on my keyboard. And we're going to stay under properties and under the position, size and flip section. We're going to left click on horizontal and we're going to click on vertical. So we flipped it horizontally and vertically. So it's upside down. Now we want to be able to see both videos so that we can make adjustments. So I'm going to go to the blend section. I'm going to leave it on normal. But for opacity, you can move it down to whatever you want. I'm going to move it down to around 70. And then you can place your cursor over the video until you see your crosshairs. Hold on your left mouse button and you can adjust this video where you want it to be. Once again, I know exactly where I want it. So I'm going to go to the Y position and type it in and hit enter. Now I want to move my opacity back up to 100 because we don't want it to be see through. And I'll click on OK. Now that you like the position of the videos, I need to know if you like the content of this video. So let me know by clicking the like button, subscribing to Power Director University, and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Next, we'll add the mask. So we're going to left click on the clip that we have in track two. We're going to go to edit. And we're going to go to mask and we're going to go to advanced. We're going to select the horizontal mask and then we're going to click on invert mask. Now we can see both video clips and now you can go ahead and place your cursor over the video until you see the crosshairs and put it over the line. You can drag this line to where you want the mask to start stop. Once again, I know exactly where I want it. So I'm going to just type in those parameters here. And now you can definitely see a line here. So we want to feather this so that it blends in both of the video clips. So we're going to go to feather radius and we're going to change that up to what we want. I think I'm going to move mine to 10. And so now you can see the videos blend together better. You still see this white line, but once we go into the editor again and we leave this section, the white line won't be there and you'll see that these two videos blend together perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now I'll click somewhere on the timeline to take the line away and you see what it looks like there. If you want to use a mask to create a custom transition, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.